Hello, this is Tony Riggs with GoEngineer. In this video, we're going to show some of the advanced tools with Object Studio that deal with the Connex line of 3D printers from Stratasys. With the Connex line, you've actually got the ability to print with multiple materials. Here I've got Vero Black and Vero Clear loaded in the machine. But before we get started with the Object Studio, we're going to have to go back over to our CAD file and take a look at what we've got there. Here I've got an assembly with the letters and then the outer block. And if we open up the outer block, we can see that I've actually used a cavity feature to subtract the letters from the block itself. Back at the assembly level, if we go over and do a file save as and save this as an STL file, we want to change some of the options here. We want to not save these as one single file, but we want to save these all as separate files. So we want to file for the letters and the outer block. I've already got that done, so we're going to come back over to Object Studio and we're going to come in and we're going to insert the STL files. Here we're going to control select the two STL files and we're going to check this assembly box. That's important for our operation here. And we're going to say insert. It'll actually put them in at the same location. Um, from the assembly level, we're going to go over and change those both to glossy. But we can come in and expand each of these guys. The outer part is going to be the, uh, the Vero Clear. And then the inner part, we can make that the Vero Black. We can see over in the Feature Manager tree here, we can see the, the color for each of those different materials. Now, we probably don't want to print this in this orientation. Uh, so I can come over and from this drop down, choose to select a plane. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button and the Alt key and that lets me rotate around. I can pick this bottom face and say I want that to be aligned to the bottom. Just to make sure I've got everything set right, I can come over and do a view, maybe wireframe, and see the letters you know poking down like this would you know sit on your desk or something. Go back over to shaded mode. Now we saw the alt key in the middle mouse button. The shift key in the middle mouse button rotates us kind of about the plane of the of the platform. We come back over to selecting the group. Uh, we definitely want to lock this orientation down because if we go over to the tray settings and start our placement, it's going to change our orientation. So if we check the placement and then validate. On my model, I'm getting an unclosed contours are detected. Uh, that should be okay with this one because I know that the STL files are okay. Uh, we can also do an estimate and that'll tell us that with the digital material setup with with multiple materials that it's going to take you know about 10 hours to print this part 922 grams of clear and 49 uh, grams of black and once we're ready we can hit the build uh, icon and send this to our object 3d printer uh, again this was tony riggs with go engineer and i hope you found this video uh, helpful in printing with multiple materials on your connex machine